All right, are we ready to break some Allen and Genter baseball tonight? Yeah, we are. We're going to break a half case. It's the back half of the case that we started a few days ago. But before we start ripping, we've got a little information to go over. So we're going to start off with that. Feedback. I have my feedback automated on eBay, guys and gals. That is just to make life easier for everybody. That way you don't ever have to wait on me to find time to do it. Anytime that you leave positive feedback to, for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return thanks to the wonders of automation and of course the second thing there is just to say thank you always appreciate you being here bidding breaking chatting and hanging out with me keeping me company we are next going to take a look if i can hit the right button <laughs> we, we will take a look if i hit the right thing uh what we are breaking here in the days ahead so tomorrow night is actually an off night. We're not going to do any breaks tomorrow night, but we'll be back at it on Monday night with a full case of Trinity baseball and a full case of Elements football. On Tuesday, we'll open another full case of Optic baseball. Wednesday, we've got some new releases coming out on Wednesday. It is Immaculate Baseball and Certified Football. We're going to open a half case of Immaculate Baseball, a full 12-box inner case of Certified Football, and we're going to start 15 minutes later at 9.15 Eastern, 6.15 Pacific. On Thursday night, we'll start a new case of Allen and Genter, and it will be a half case break of that. So here's what you need to know about tonight. We've just got the one break, which is Allen and Genter. I am projecting that we will get that out the door and on the way to you approximately Wednesday. Now, if I can get it shipped out to you sooner than Wednesday, I will be happy to do so. But right now, that is my best estimate. And all of the teams in here are definitely going to pull cards. Now, if you have one of the special bidding categories in here and you don't pull anything for your bidding category, which could be the case with like DNA, fossil relics, and presidential pieces, maybe a couple of the odds and ends categories, you will still get something in the mail. You'll get a package of uh, consolation cards if you don't pull anything for your category. So this is a six box half case break of Allen and Genter baseball. It's the back half of a case that we started on Wednesday night. And of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, Saturday night, the 20th of July. We've got our team names on the left-hand side, winning bidders across from each team there uh, on the opposite side. And you'll note that we have several different bidding categories. Of course, that was uh, noted in the description. I'm sure everybody saw that. But just as a refresher, non-baseball celebrity, presidential pieces, DNA, and arrowhead relics, uh, the horse cards, the incredible equipment, and the history of flight. Those all go together in one category. In bloom, which is flowers, and look out below, which is waterfalls, go together. Blue ribbons, which is unusual contests, and the canine cards together in a category. And then chugging and languages are together in a category. So that's what you need to know about that. And last little piece of business here, I'm changing things up. I'm going to change your focus. And it's going to make the background go out of focus a, a little bit here. And that's on purpose, so don't worry. We're going to be able to see our cards and everything without any problems. So the first half of this case, when we opened it, uh, I can, I guess, just show you as we go along here. We numbered all of these boxes. Where is the number on that box? My, oh, there it is. Gosh, I'm blind. <laughs> when we first started the case, we took all the boxes out, numbered them on the end, and then used random.org to determine which ones we opened in the first half of the break. And the ones that are remaining, of course, are the ones that we are going to be opening up right now. We did find a hot box in the first half. I know that usually uh, comes up, so I'm trying to remember that this year. So we did hit one hot box uh, in the first half and we also hit one rip card in the first half of the case so for those of you who keep track of that sort of thing we are looking for three hits per box and it can be any of the above autograph card relic card rip card printing plate and booklet oh yeah we found a booklet in the first half too i forgot about that 
Yeah, we did find that then too. So anyway, three hits per box. It'll be from amongst those things that you see there. We of course have a, a box loader in each case. So uh, those will, can be anything really. It can be the teams. It can also be some of the stuff that's on the special little categories. And they even have box loaders that are rip cards this year. That's a new thing. So another possibility of something we could find. Alan J is here. Hi, Alan J. He's wishing everybody good luck. That's nice. Hopefully we'll have good luck for you too, Alan J. Who do you have tonight? Bryce Harper is our first little box loader here. Another question that I get asked a lot is, do all the cards ship? In this break, yes, they do. So, uh, of course, sometimes that's not the case. And if that is ever different, it's going to always tell you right there in that listing description. When you scroll down to the part where it talks about the date and time of the break and the product uh, name and the quantity and all that right there in the middle and that really big color type and then, you know, like blue or green or whatever it's in, uh, it will always tell you in that little area if something is different, you know, if we have different bidding categories or whatever the case may be. Now we're going to see if any little minis want to extract themselves uh, before we look through this, because if they do, that generally is a little easier than coming across them in the pack where they like to just come out at unusual intervals <laughs> and make life difficult so we may still find a couple but that was the majority of them so we can take a look at what will be most of our minis in there and of course the minis can be baseball or other this one of course is a non-baseball celebrity uh, mini for example and there's another baseball this is a black border which is kind of a uh, they're not numbered, but they're not as common as the non-black border. That particular one was for the Red Sox. We've got George Brett there for the Royals. The Atlanta Braves with Dale Murphy. And Don Mattingly, one of one mini. How about that? I thought that felt different on the front. <laughs> it's got a glossy front. And yeah, it's a one of one. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, a one of one mini for Don Mattingly and the Yankees. I'm kind of about that. And then there's Ted Williams for the Red Sox. So there you go. Not a bad way to start things off, right? With a one of one. So this guy, he's a non-baseball celebrity. So there'll be plenty of those. That, of course, goes to the Mares and Stallions category, the horse bidding category. We've got our first relic. It is Carlos Correa coming out for the Astros with a framed relic. So that's our first hit of the box. I mean, the one of one was a hit, but a different type of hit. Incredible equipment. Uh, of course, once again, its own bidding category as well. This is just an insert. We'll find plenty of these. They're baseball star signs. They're kind of cool. Uh, they're mostly, you know, they're not numbered or whatever, but they're just fun little inserts that they've added in. Non-baseball celebrity, a nun. History of flight. I like those cards. They're, they look like paintings, and I kind of like them. So that kind of gives you a general idea of what we're going to find. There's another Mares and Stallions, but there are still a few more that we'll run across. And we'll talk about as we see them other types of inserts that we haven't seen quite yet. And we have a relic here for non-baseball celebrity. Well, he is baseball, but he doesn't play for a team. So he's a blogger that blogs about baseball, but since he is not... Uh, he is not employed by any MLB, any major league or minor league team, then that goes to non-baseball celebrity bidding category. Oh, there's a little mini that uh, escaped us the first time around. Profar for the A's. I told you there would probably still be one or two that would 
hang out somewhere within the stacks. They always do. They like to make our life difficult. Maybe we'll just try to get them out one pack at a time. How about that? Make it easier still. But you know, that might be that Mattingly that we pulled. That might be the first one of one many that I've seen in Allen and Ginter in recent years. So those aren't super, well, anything one of one is not super easy to come by, but uh, that one had a glossy front to it, which is what made it the one of one, of course. So we've got loads more Allen and Ginter, but we're going to have to work it in amongst all the zillions of other things that have come out and are coming out on a weekly basis. They're really going to be pouring it on us with new releases through the next few weeks. They always do around this time of year because it's time for the National Card Collector Show, so they always inundate us. That is non-baseball celebrity. Here's our first that we've seen for In Bloom, our floral inserts. The Mariners with a mini for uh, Kikuchi. LeMayhew, a black border for the Oakland A's with Chris Davis. And here's our first collectible canines. Goes to, of course, the canine bidding category. And then another non-baseball celebrity kind of person. Flight, history of flight. If anybody happens to be watching uh, the Cincinnati Reds game and you would feel so inclined as to keep me abreast of the score, hey, I wouldn't mind that at all. It was 1-0 the last time I saw, but I haven't been able to watch it in a bit. So here comes our third, our third hit out of this box. It's a relic. It's uh, Freddie Freeman for the Atlanta Braves, and that one is game used, it says. So a little game used memorabilia there for Atlanta getting things going in the right direction mares and stallions whoops that is non-baseball celebrity some guy in a tiger mask whatever that's about another incredible equipment and yeah so on and so forth. So you kind of get the idea of what's in here. If we, when we find like the chugging and some of the others that we haven't look out below and blue ribbon and whatever, I'll point those out since we haven't seen them yet. But anything else that we've already seen, I will spare you uh, reading it off every time. Oh man, just after I said I was going to get them out one pack at a time, didn't I? Hard to remember to do that, but yet far easier than having them just pop up. Strasburg for the Nats, for the Cubbies, David Bodie. Another little canine, that one was a Husky, kind of a cool card. Robin Yant, black border for the Brewers. Another flight card. Doesn't he look so young right there? I mean, I know he is young, Otani, but in that image right there, he just looked even really, really young. <laughs> it's like 12 years old in that. So hopefully uh, everybody stayed reasonably cool today. Of course, I think most of the country is in the midst of this uh, heat wave that I'm in the middle of too. But I think it's supposed to ease up some starting tomorrow. But I tell you what, I was kind of glad to be inside all day today. I was working all day on sorting and shipping, but still kind of glad to be inside. Laureano and the A's for the Mets. That's Robinson Cano. For the Rangers, it's Elvis Andrus. And... Kyle Schwarber for the Cubbies. 
you know, usually on Saturdays, I'm kind of thinking, oh man, I wish I could, you know, be outside, but I need to get this work done or whatever. But today I was like, oh yeah, I've got work to do. I can't go out. <laughs> I can't go out more of those flowers. You go handle that. I, you know, I got work to do. But still, the heat's better than the cold, in my opinion. Much prefer to sweat than to freeze. Alan J., you say it was 116 there today with the heat index. See, that's just outrageous. It was, uh, I didn't see actually what our final number was today, but they had indicated that our air temperature would be in the mid 90s, mid to high 90s, and our heat index would be probably, you know, around 105, 106, something like that. I don't know what we actually did hit. But either way, um, it was definitely hotter where you are. <laughs> because I don't think we were supposed to hit 116. So hopefully you were indoors most of the day today as well. So the other option for box loaders in this product uh, are these fun little, uh, fun little N43 cards. And we found one in the first half and we've got another one here. It says Buster Posey for the Giants. Personally, I prefer these to those big oversized box loaders, but I know a lot of people like the box loaders best, but I like the little M43s. I think they're cool, and they're easier to collect, let's face it. It's hard to find a place to keep all those big box loaders, and harder to kind of have them organized where you can just look at them or whatever. Your actual air temperature was 101. Holy cow, Alan J. Did you stay inside all day? I hope you did. Because, <laughs> like, that's the kind of heat you go outside. You have each stroke in, like, five minutes. Yeah, it's definitely been a dangerous uh, weather for, especially for, you know, elderly people, pets, um, kids. It's all especially susceptible to the super hot weather. But not fun for anybody. Michaelis for the Cardinals. He was pitching tonight against my Reds. Piazza and the Dodgers. And here comes a look out below. This is our first waterfall that we have seen. So we'll get a good little look at it there. It's a non-baseball celebrity. Blue Jays with Rowdy. Sister somebody or another is non-baseball celebrity. She's a first pitch celebrity, to be exact, is what it says on there. Collectible canines. You did stay inside and cold beer kept you company. <laughs> well, hey, listen, as far as company goes, uh, I think that's a good choice. <laughs> that was a good house guest to have. Indeed, that is history of flight. The Red Sox, non-baseball celebrity with uh, the nun, the first pitch nun, I'm going to call her. And here comes a relic, first relic out of uh, this box. And it looks like it is Jackie Bradley Jr. on here. Another uh, game game used of course for the Red Sox and ironically enough their relic is gray <laughs> the egg the ever popular egg that goes to non-baseball celebrity as well believe it or not the egg is kind of a celebrity that's that egg that had its own I guess it was its own Instagram page wasn't it where somebody put it up and said they wanted the egg to get X number of likes so that XYZ would happen. I don't really remember all the details. And anyway, then the egg became like internet famous for a period of time. <laughs> Everybody going to click on the picture of the egg. Frank, you said, oh my gosh. See, now Frank, I forgot that you were a mail carrier and you had a nine hour day in 107 degree heat. See, now that's just nasty right there. I love my mail carrier. His name is Paul. And uh, he had a, 
a fairly long day today, but he said it, it wasn't too, too bad, but he also probably felt that way because he's getting ready to be off for like 10 days. So <laughs> he's, he's probably just like really happy that he's going to be off for a good long stretch. Corey Kluber, Indians. For the Braves, Hank Aaron with the black border. Here come the Canines. Rod Carew for the Twins. And then the Blue Jays with Justin Smoke. But yes, I do not envy you um, having to deal with that. This is uh, wooden, I believe, is what it feels like. It is in bloom, and um, it is, I guess, oh, it's maybe not wooden. It's, what is this? Oh, you can actually plant the card and grow this Black-Eyed Susan. So I knew it felt different, but it's not exactly wood. So I guess there's some seeds or something built into that card. It's obviously terribly uh done on the back <laughs> but that's pretty cool our other in bloom cards weren't like that so there you go so as it said on the back you can either plant it and get yourself some black eyed susans or you can just keep the card so that's new for this year too then black eyed susans are great if you've never grown them got some around here they don't last very long the original plant may only come back like one or two seasons, but it, it drops a lot of seeds. So if you learn to recognize the seedlings and not like pull them up and think they're weeds, because they do come up a little late in the year, they will live on uh, practically forever in the area. You just have to watch their for their little seedlings, but your original plants only last a year or two. All right, we have ourselves a double rip card. Woohoo! And it's numbered to 10, and it's Koufax for the Dodgers. I mean, everything about that is pretty awesome. Frank Robinson is on the backside. So a double rip card to 10. Oh, that is really nice. I'm really digging that. Dodgers, congratulations. Those don't come out very often. So as a whole, this case has been pretty incredible when you think about it. We got that booklet numbered to 10 out of the first half. That comes up maybe once every 10 or 12 cases. We've got a double rip card already out of this half. We've got the one of one mini already out of this half. Uh, it's going to be, this was a good case all the way around. I'm very happy with what we've gotten so far. Frank, yeah, my carrier, I think, is going to be super happy to be off for a few days. He works really hard. Um, I'm sure all the carriers do, you included, but I just happen to love Paul. I've had him for years uh, here on this route, and he's just like the best guy ever. I really like him a lot. So that last in bloom that we saw, it was not the kind you can plant in the ground. It was just a regular one. The one that we found that uh, says you can plant in the ground is the first like that that I have seen this year. So it may not be numbered, but it is rather unique nonetheless. I don't have any idea what those sell for or if they're, you know, a desirable card in terms of collecting. But if they're not, it would be fun to plant it and let it grow. I would think anyway. Had to have a little shot of caffeine there. Benrod, you said you came in today from 105 degree heat and rain. Two packages of cards oh, were wet and one box was ripped in half. Oh man. Is it um, all okay? Like your stuff when you looked in it? Was it all good <laughs> i mean i know it doesn't say, like it definitely wasn't good on the outside of the package but was it okay on the inside yes we did have another rip card in the first half of the case it was a single rip 
in the first half of the case. This one's a double rip card here in the second half. Most of the time, we will find two rip cards in a case, but they are most often single rips. It's rather rare to find a double rip, especially with good players like that. Well, I mean, actually, the doubles do usually have good players on them, but, I mean, that was Frank Robinson and Sandy Koufax, so, I mean, and it was to 10, so Dodgers, you know, pretty good one there. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. The Mariners and Edwin Incarnation. Little collectible canine. Then we've got the A's and Matt Olson. The Brewers and Corbin Burnson. The Blue Jays and Roberto Alomar. Oh, my Reds get a black border with Scooter Jeanette. Yay, yay, Reds. So it was packed well. Both were wet inside, but the cards were fine. Okay, well, good. I'm at least glad to hear that. I tell you, I got one from UPS the other day that was ridiculous. I can't even believe the guy left it without knocking on the door or anything. The box was ripped, was smashed to, I mean, into like, I mean, smashed. Doesn't even begin to cover it. And ripped open entirely with the contents hanging half out of the box. And I was here. They didn't even like knock on door, ring doorbell or anything. They just threw it on the porch and left it. <laughs> Kyle Freeland and the Colorado Rockies with a relic. Got a little pinstripe there too. So that was UPS though that did that. I was shocked. But I tell you what, it's been weird lately. I think they've got... I don't know, whatever, something's going on at our processing center, I think. I had uh, a baseball bat get broken in transit. A wooden baseball bat, <laughs> right? And I had even used, like, bubble wrap and packing peanuts, even though it was a baseball bat. And really, like, made sure it was in a sturdy thing, the whole deal. And it came broken, which shocked me. It's the first thing I'd had damaged in forever. And then not probably two, three weeks later, a card that was in a one-touch case, the one-touch got destroyed. I mean, it looked like someone had taken a hammer and repeatedly smashed it. It was in, not just cracked, I mean, it was in like multiple pieces. So, of course, had managed to also damage the card inside of the one-touch. And that's the first time I've had anything damaged in, I don't even know how long. I mean, a long, long time. And especially two things that you really wouldn't think would be easy to damage. <laughs> a one-touch case and a wooden baseball bat. So I think my sorting center, um, you know, they maybe got something going on there. I don't know, but hopefully that's the only problems we're going to have. Javi Baez and the Cubbies. Of course, you know, I spent some time working in a sorting center. And sometimes, it, guys, it is just unavoidable. I mean, it is high-speed equipment in there. And there is massive volumes of mail and packages going through. And just by virtue of the way it rolls, sometimes stuff happens. And there's not much way around it, unfortunately. So... When it, you know, for, it, we're, we're lucky things don't happen more than they do, I guess. Considering the volume and, and the equipment and all the factors that go into it, it's amazing, really, to think about. But I really had no idea until I worked in one uh, over the holidays one year. I wanted some extra Christmas money and worked at a sorting center that was crazy busy. Will Myers for the Padres. Collectible canines. For the Angels it is Jonathan LaCroix. And collectible canines again. A non-baseball celebrity and Jim Palmer. Flight, a 
mares and stallions, a mini that was stuck, not stuck exactly, staticked, I should say, to this, which is a relic that is a piece of the baseball bat for Mr. Steve Carlton, headed to the Philadelphia Phillies. So awesome little relic there for the Phillies. We're making progress. It does just take a while. No way around it. But hopefully worth the wait with what we find. That's always the key, right? If we find good enough stuff, we don't mind how many base cards we look through to find it. If we don't find good enough stuff, then we're like, oh, man, why are there so many base cards? <laughs> so we had a guy last night, uh, Mike Leak, I think it was, that was throwing an, a perfect game. And all the way to the top of the ninth and the leadoff batter got a hit can you even imagine if you're that guy you have pitched a perfect game all the way into the ninth inning and then lost it and that was the only hit of the game oh i felt so bad for him Degrom and the mets with a black border bogarts for the red Sox, for the twins jose barrios the Blue Jays, Shoemaker. Here is our first blue uh, blue ribbon, I think, right? Dreams of Blue Ribbons. And that's just basically, it covers um, unusual sort of contests. <laughs> I think this is our first chugging along that we've seen tonight as well. That I remember anyway. And Nolan Ryan for the Astros. But yeah, I mean, like how... I mean, it's never good, right? If you're going to lose a perfect game, you never, you don't want to lose it. You want to finish it as a perfect game, clearly. But to get all the way to the top of the ninth, it's like, oh, would have been far less painful probably to lose it in the seventh or even the eighth inning. But you get that far and then have the rug pulled out from under you, man. Still has to be proud, though. Still, I mean, an incredibly well-pitched game, but... And somebody hit for the natural cycle. Maybe it was the Diamondbacks, I heard them say, uh, for like the first time in franchise history. So they went um, in order in the inning, single, double, triple, home run. How crazy is that? that was yesterday too i think i'm pretty sure they said it was the diamondbacks i didn't personally see that i just heard uh, the announcer speaking about it when i was sort of watching and mostly listening to the reds game while i was getting some things done i would think that would be a really rare thing to do i mean a player hitting for the cycle is hard enough uh, that's incredibly rare as well but a natural cycle in order your four batters, single, double, triple, homer is crazy astronomical odds, I would think. All right, we have some canines here. Followed by lost languages. I think that might be our first lost languages that we've seen tonight as well. There's another uh, non-baseball celebrity. That guy's an agent. The Blue Jays and Shoemaker. The Cardinals and Lou Brock. Celebrity. And another uh, mini for baseball. That one was the Rangers. 
Alan J., you're asking if I have any single boxes of anything for sale. Oh, I'm sure I got single boxes around here for lots of stuff. What, I mean, mostly older. There might be a little bit of current stuff, but it's probably not a lot of current stuff because usually it'll come in either, you know, full case or half case quantities. But what are you looking for? And I can, t I'll have to look around, honestly. Most of it I don't know off the top of my head, but I can look around if you can tell me what it is you're looking for. Noah Sindergaard and the Mets with a little uh, uniform relic there. Bobby must not be on here tonight. Bobby always calls those underwear patches, but I think Bobby must not be here tonight. Although I think I saw his ID. I think he's in the break, but maybe just not on chat, perhaps. A non-baseball celebrity relic here. A poker player. So, there you go. That was our, I believe, our last hit out of that box, if memory serves. Football or baseball? Well, I mean, like, what years are we talking? Like, are you talking just 2019? Are you talking any year? Because I got loads of stuff that's uh, just from prior years. I don't know how much from current years. Some, I'm sure. Heck, I've still got that 2018 Topps Chrome Sapphire sitting back there that I didn't do anything with, that I kept meaning to do something with and never did, and there it sits still. <laughs> Mazzara for the Rangers. The Dodgers in Max Muncy and a black border Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. All right, let's see here. Flight. Mares and Stallions, and that wraps up that box. So we are three boxes down, three to go. So we're basically at the halfway point of the half case right at this moment in time. Uh, 2017 football and baseball. Uh... Baseball, maybe 2017, but not for sure 2017. 2017 football, oh, I imagine so. But I'll have to dig around and see. Because I there's certain stuff I buy, actually buy in single boxes to have, just to use as mixers and stuff. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have... Um, vertex from 2017 it's kind of it's well i do right there it says actually <laughs> right there it is so it's you know pretty uh, pretty high end but i know i have some boxes of it more than just what's sitting right there and probably some other 2017 football too look out below a waterfall uh victoria falls and that is our uh, box loader here out of box number, whatever this is, four, I guess. Let's set it in here. Yeah, but 2017 baseball, I'm not as sure about that. Because sometimes I get tempted and open stuff myself. <laughs> so sometimes I'll have loose boxes of things and I'll just decide, you know what? I think I will open that and then I do. And I have a tendency to do that with baseball Probably more so than I do with football. But I'll double check for you sometime uh, over the next, I don't know, week or so. I'll try to dig around and see what's hanging around here in the way of loose boxes for 2017.
is Vertex one you would be interested in? Or are you looking for some that aren't quite so pricey? All right, there is a little Gil Hodges for the Dodgers. Next up is uh, A.J. Burnett for the Marlins. The Phillies with uh, Cozens. The Yankees and Andujar. The Dodgers and, I'm sorry, the Royals and Ryan O'Hearn. I've got Dodgers on the brain. This is Blue Ribbons Toe Wrestling. Oh, for real, guys. I have never heard of toe wrestling. Uh, that's crazy. Carl Yastrzemski and the Red Sox. The Yankees and Troy Tulowitzki. And then look out below another waterfall. But let me tell you this. So I've never heard of the toe wrestling, and that's interesting. But <laughs> have you ever seen there is there are contests, slapping contests, where grown men stand at a podium and just smack the living fire out of each other. <laughs> Yeah, it's a slapping contest. It is crazy, but incredibly interesting to watch. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be interesting to watch. I get that. I get that. It should not be a thing that you go, oh, wow, and stop on. But kind of, it is. So if you have not looked at that, you should Google it because it's pretty crazy. Chris Bryant and the Cubs with a relic. Um, Alan J., yeah, uh, you do remember, though, that I don't ever check that email address that I use for PayPal. Like, I literally never check that email for correspondence, ever. It has probably got 15,000 plus emails in it, probably more than that. I really don't ever check them. Uh, but if you if you do send me a message there, hit me up first on eBay and just say something like, you know, check your email or something. So I know to at least go look for it and maybe I could find it in those 50 zillion emails. Speaking of good stuff, I told you guys this case was in fire man it is on fire it is nolan ryan autograph for the astros oh yeah and see and i forgot we had that red ink signature to 10 out of the first half of this case too this whole case really really nice case of allen and genter and the nolan ryan just being one piece of many first half had some great stuff in it second half has had some equally great stuff in it Oh, you can definitely um, email me, but what I'm saying is you better hit me up on eBay and let me know to look for it because otherwise I promise you I will not see it. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I never check it for correspondence. I never, ever check it, ever. I probably got stuff in there from two, three, four years ago. <laughs> I just, I don't use it for that really. But... If you hit me up and tell me it's there, I will know. I will know then. And meanwhile, I'll see what else is hanging around from 2017. I can't really remember off the top of my head other than I know. I probably have a case of that Vertex, actually. I imagine. Because that's one I used to just kind of buy and keep a little extra of around to use for mixers and different things. Tigers, Cabrera, the Nationals, and Robles, the Angels with Shohei Otani, a Black Border Charlie Blackman, a Black Border Josh Hader from the Brewers, the Marlins, and a non-baseball celebrity.
flight. Whoops, that's that's that guy again, our non-baseball celebrity guy. And look at that. We had the Nolan Ryan autograph, and now we're going to hit a Ricky Henderson relic. So pretty cool uh, what's coming out of this box. I like getting the throwback stuff. I'm surprised the Nolan Ryan wasn't numbered, though. I really would have expected that to be numbered, but I didn't see one on it, and I just now looked again. Still didn't see one, so I guess it's not. But it seems like it should be, doesn't it? Who is that? Oh, that's my reds. How about that? Does anybody know if my reds won or lost tonight? Of course, last night blew a seven-run lead. Gave up, what, what was it? Ten or twelve? Twelve runs, I think, in one inning. One inning. I mean, who does that? What kind of crap is that? I just, unbelievable. Some of the stuff, I mean, that would only happen to the Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> but you're, you have a 7 nothing lead, only to turn around and give up 12 runs in one inning. And then manage to get it back in the ninth to 12-11. Had runners on... First and third or second and third, I forget. But anyway, I, a runner on third. Two outs. Votto up. All the guy has to do is land a single. And we're going to at least tie the game. But nope, he didn't do it. <laughs> didn't get it done. Got himself thrown out with a little stupid infield ground ball. And there you go. The legacy of the Reds. That was Canines. Next up is Giants with Buster Posey. And there comes Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals. There's another Canine. Followed by another Canine. And then we have uh, the White Sox. The Orioles. And Lost Languages. Frank says they're the bad news Reds. They kind of are, aren't they? I mean, they just, I don't know, will look good in spurts and then stuff like that happens. But we got that guy, uh, dang, what is that guy's name? We call that guy up to play catcher and the guy just rakes last night. I mean, he knocked in four or five RBIs. The guy was crazy at the plate. Um, I forget. I can't, I can't think of his name. Something way, Laverne way, maybe, uh, that had been with the Yankees, and they just, I think they outright released him, didn't they? Arcia and the Brewers with a relic. And that's how we got him. But anyway, we got him because, you know, we got somebody with a concussion and everybody else injured and blah, blah, blah. list goes on. Guy was, like, incredible last night. <laughs> And he was up there in that ninth inning, too, with a chance, with a couple on. But he ended up getting walked, or got a walk. They didn't intentionally walk him. And, um, yeah. So there you go. Then that's how it turned into coming down to Votto, who did not manage to get it done for me last night. So it was Laverne Way. Okay, I got it sort of right. Ryan, you said, is his first name. See, I didn't get to watch, of course, uh, you know, I don't get to watch most of the whole games I'm breaking or or sorting or doing whatever, various things, but I get to see little pieces, parts of it, and what I saw of that guy, um, I like that guy. I'm <laughs> like, let's keep him. Oh, and Alan J., thank you for the score update. It's 3-2, top of the ninth, and we're winning in the, right now. <laughs> exactly, there's the qualifier the right now is the important part that could change uh, in an instant with my Cincinnati Reds so but anyway I like that guy Ryan Laverne way so I think they said it was his first actual time that he got to start too he'd played major league before I believe but I think it was his first maybe start if I remember them saying that but 
Anyway, it was good stuff for us. And here is J.D. Martinez with some good stuff for the Red Sox with our little N43 box loader. And this is box number five that is starting to come out of the wrappers as we speak. Oh, he had been with the Red Sox before? I thought that guy had been a Yankee, so I must be thinking about somebody else entirely then. I honestly thought Laverne Way had been previously a Yankee. Um, so then I've got him confused with somebody else then, if he was previously a Red Sox. Anyway, I don't know. I was glad to have him last night. For, it didn't matter we lost anyway, but still I was glad to have him. Every time I think we're going to sneak up and get close to that wild card position, we do something dumb. I mean, at one point, we were only like three or four games out of that wild card position, and now we're probably way more than that. The Rangers and Gonzalez. Grinky for the Diamondbacks, who's on the mound tonight, I believe. An in bloom and uh, for the in bloom category, of course. The Dodgers and Mr. Tommy Lasorda. Aw, a little, Mal a little Maltese. How cute. Canines. It was really cute. The Babe for the Yankees. And then the Phillies with Aaron Nola. But it's always interesting with these guys. I mean, sometimes you can take a guy... And he doesn't do very well wherever he is. And you can just give him a little change of scenery and all of a sudden he's a completely different player. You know, I don't know if it's the, what it is. If it's the system surrounding him or some other distractions or improvements or what. But you can definitely see it happen with these young guys sometimes where they don't do well in one spot and they get another chance somewhere else and all of a sudden they shine so I'll tell you who did not shine somewhere else and that is Matt Harvey <laughs> you know we picked him up after uh, the Mets dumped him and he did pretty well for us actually I have to say he he really did kind of rehab himself a bit with the Reds I thought we should have traded him then when he, when we rehabbed him, but we didn't. We kept him through the end of the season. Of course, when he was going to be a free agent, we knew we weren't going to afford him after that. So we went to the Angels, and they just outright cut him, <laughs> I believe, uh, like a couple days ago after a disastrous outing. So, I don't think Matt Harvey has many more stops left in him. He just kind of never was right after that Tommy John surgery, I don't think. He just never, you know, with a lot of guys, it seems like they're better when they come back from that. I know that's weird to say that, but that is kind of the myth surrounding it anyway, right? I mean, that's why so many parents are like yeah let's have my kid do it when he's like 12 <laughs> you know he'll be stronger faster better and you know, whatever but i don't know it didn't really help matt harvey i don't think canines the padres reyes the twins and tory hunter oh joey Votto, cincinnati reds a black border marlin Mariner, Black Border Mariner, Edgar Martinez. That was non-baseball celebrity, my man, Johnny Bench. Love me some Johnny Bench for the Reds. And then the Yankees and Luke Boyd. There is one upside to being a Reds fan. Um, it doesn't cost a lot to buy them in most breaks. <laughs> Not usually terribly expensive. Of course, you also don't get as many hits with the Reds as you do some of the other more popular teams. 
We have a relic upon us. It is for the Cubbies. Kyle Schwarber. Chicago Cubs. That guy had some hair, didn't he? And a non-baseball celebrity relic out next. And who is this? Mark Summers, a TV host. Yeah, I don't know him at all. But anyway, non-baseball celebrity strikes again with another hit. Okay, we are still looking for a hit in this box, or have we hit all of our stuff in this box? Oh, I can't remember where the RCA came out of. So I don't know. We've definitely hit two out of here, the Schwarber and the non-baseball celebrity, but I can't remember if we've hit the third one out of this box or not yet. So we may have yet another to find, but I'm not certain. Could not say for sure either way. These other two opened up as well. Finish this box off. Hi, Anthony. We have not seen Trout or Otani yet in any meaningful way. I mean, I'm sure there have been some in vase and things, but in terms of relics or autographs, no. Sammy Sosa for the Cubbies. Don Mattingly, Yankees, a black border um, musician guy, so that's non-baseball celebrity. Look out below, the Blue Jays, the Cardinals, followed by the Mets, and a second Met. And Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez, Rangers. Oh, Anthony, maybe base. I mean, I have no idea if there's been base. You know I do not uh, pay attention to that at all. The only time I might notice, like, a player that's on a base card is just if it catches my eye as maybe being something I'm not used to seeing. But as a whole, just like the regular base, oh my goodness, no, I do not pay enough attention to that. So there may be base in here. I could not tell you on that. I have not even been remotely watching. Well, right there's an insert. So, <laughs> so yeah, I would say probably so since that was a Mike Trout insert right there. Let's just assume there's probably other base in here for that or inserts or something. But I could not tell you what unfortunately, because I do not pay attention to that in products that, you know, like certain ones you do, if you know you're looking for short prints in Series 1 or Series 2 or Jumbo or something, you would, but not in others. All right, we have an autograph hit. Why does it not want to go in there? And it is for the Yankees. Posada for the Yankees. So that was our third hit out of that box. So we have only hit two. Well, we know you have at least the one Mike Trout insert because you brought yourself good luck, Anthony, right? Right as you were asking and we were talking about it, we saw at least the one. So I know you have at least that. But my guess is there's... Oh, you know what? There's definitely an Otani somewhere in here because I remember... Uh, commenting on how young he looked on the card. So I do remember that. I do not remember if it was a base or an insert. 
I just, and I hadn't even remembered it at all until right then. And I was like, oh yeah, we did say something about how, how young Otani looked on the card. So you got at least one of each, I'm guessing probably more. All right, we are officially at last box mojo time. So we're going to have to work really hard here and try to bring out some fantastically fabulous hits out of our last box of the night. Acuna and the Braves is our final box loader for the evening. Uh, you don't have a lot of Trout or Otani in your personal collection. Yeah, they're a little tougher to get uh, on the inserts and things. Maybe, you know, easier, obviously, than getting the Relic or the Autograph. But, but they do come out. We've pulled some Trout recently out of a couple different things. So it's hanging around out there. The easiest place, of course, to find most of that kind of stuff, by that kind of stuff, I'm talking about the high-end signatures, is usually out of the high-end products, which can be kind of pricey to purchase spots in, unfortunately, because the product itself is so expensive. But that's usually where you've got the best luck finding it, although honestly... One year we had so much trout in Inception. A couple years back, it was crazy. Justin Bauer for the Angels. Like one case of it, I pulled two different Mike Trout autograph patches under 50. Out of one case of Inception. Mazzara and the Rangers. Jeff McNeil and the Mets. For the Yankees. This one is for the Padres. This is for the canines. Chugging along. And the tigers. Castellanos. Yeah, well, first of all, I like the Inception cards, too. So I agree with you. You said you're not picky. <laughs> and you like them. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't know, really. I don't know. I guess some people probably don't like them. Maybe because they have different, more muted, more pastel type colors. That's the only reason I can really think of why somebody particularly wouldn't like Inception. I think it's a great product, especially the last few years. You know, they started adding in a little bit more of what I would call our younger players, not just the rookie content in there. Those Mike Trouts being an example of that which I thought really boosted it up. But then last year, uh, it seemed like we didn't I didn't pull as much of that as I had in the year prior. But still, I like Inception. I think it's a pretty cool little product. Cody Bellinger, a relic for the Dodgers. Oh, see, there's your Mike Trout insert again. So we've already seen a pair of those just since you asked about it, so I'm guessing there's probably quite a few in here. Without knowing for sure, that would be my estimate. Oh yeah, Anthony, we always break Inception when it comes out. I mean, that's already, you know, come and gone for this year, but yeah, um, most years I like to break around 10 cases of it. This year, they didn't allocate me as much as I had gotten in past years, so I didn't get... 10 this past year, I think. What do we have, guys? Maybe seven cases or something? Less than I was expecting, anyway. But that seems to be the trend. They, they expect us to spend more and increase our spending year over year, and then they decrease what they give us year over year. But, Anthony, most of the stuff, I break it pretty soon after it comes out. The majority of things... I break within probably four to six weeks of the time it comes out. Now, some stuff uh, I, hang a, I hang around with it a little bit longer. Bowman is an example of that. This is Ben Zobrist for the Cubs. 
and Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Chris Archer, Pirates. And there's the Indians with a black border. The Dodgers. And who have we here? The Red Sox. All right, let's see here. What have we got waiting for us? We need something good out of here. A mosquito just bit me too, daggone it. <laughs> oh, it's like, how you know, you have the door open for five seconds, going in or out, carrying something in, carrying something out. And I guess all the mosquitoes and flies and everything else are like oh yeah we don't like the heat either we're coming right on in in that five seconds you've got all kinds of stuff flying in and where that stupid mosquito is he just bit me i didn't even know there was one in the house right now but there is because he just bit me <laughs> like tag on it oh well what are you gonna do not much apparently except itch I actually do need to get some more Bowman scheduled in. I've still got, oh, I don't know, probably four cases or so down there of Bowman. Regular Bowman Jumbo. Not regular, well, Bowman Jumbo, as in not Bowman Chrome. But other, just plain Bowman Jumbo. So I probably do need to get some more of that worked in. But man, there's so much other stuff i got a mountain of stuff down. I've still got heritage down there, too. I need to probably just sell some of that out as full cases and be moving on, you know, down the line. It's just backing up. Either that or hire somebody to come in and sort and then we just do a week where we break like a million things in that one week and then hire some people to come in and help me sort it and then that might be fun Padres and Reyes the Oakland A's and Dennis Eckersley Reggie Jackson for the Angels that is a Blue Ribbon Chili Pepper Eating Contest. People will eat anything if it's a contest. Herrera Black Border for the Phillies. This is a Lost Languages insert. Phillies. Scott Kingery. Canines. Black Border Indians. And Yankees. Roger Maris. <laughs> Alan J says, yeah, hire somebody. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I've thought about that before. My issue is, like, it's got to be somebody that I really, really, really trust. Not the trust in the sense of, like, are they going to steal it? Although, obviously, you got to make sure it's somebody who doesn't steal stuff. But... My issue is more somebody that I can trust to be thorough, right? And like not send the wrong stuff to the wrong teams or do some crazy things like that. That's more what I worry about. Because I would have them only sort the base anyway. I wouldn't have them sort the hits. I would do that myself. Mark Summers, TV host. Didn't we pull his stupid relic earlier? I guess it's not stupid, but... Anyway, um, <laughs> there is his autograph as well. That is non-baseball celebrity. His relic isn't stupid. It's just that, I don't know. I wanted that to be somebody else. That's all. I wanted it to be a baseball player autograph. Chris Taylor for the Dodgers with a relic. So, yeah, that's my main issue, really, with hiring somebody is that... It's got to be somebody that I can trust to be, pay attention and be really thorough and make sure that they get stuff going to the right place. 
and also they'd probably be a lot slower than I am, at least in the beginning. Because they would have to stop and think about like where every card goes. Whereas I have done it so often, I could you could probably blindfold me and I could still lay the card in the spot on the table where that team would sort to. It's just it's muscle memory, I guess. So that is uh, the last of what we have to look through, but we do have a little recapping to do. So we're going to get uh, this done, the recap, and then after we do the recap, we'll take a look at uh, our spreadsheet again. For those of you who might have missed it earlier, we'll see when you can expect things to ship and all that. So this little mini right here, uh, which is an in blue mini, you can stick that baby in the ground and grow yourself some black eyed Susans if you want. So it's parallel that apparently has seeds baked in there somewhere. So there you go. Uh, plant it or keep it, as it says. This nice Dawn Mattingly here happens to be a one of one mini for the Yankees. How about that, kids? I like one of ones no matter what they are. But Don Mattingly, I'm, you know, I mean, that's good subject matter for one of one. Chris Taylor and the Dodgers. This is non-baseball celebrity Mark Summers autograph. Non-baseball celebrity, or not non-baseball celebrity. Why am I still saying that? This is Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. See, I get on autopilot. Um, there's the Yankees with Posada. This is what I was thinking of when I started talking about Cody Bellinger, a non-baseball celebrity relic of Mark Summers, the same guy we just saw the autograph for a minute ago. The Cubbies and Kyle Schwarber, the Brewers, Orlando Arcia, Ricky Henderson, Oakland A's, that beautiful little card right there. I love it. It's Nolan Ryan for the Astros. The Cubs with a Chris Bryant relic. And we have ourselves another non-baseball celebrity relic. Thor comes out for the Mets with a relic. The Phillies and one Steve Carlton. Kyle Freeland for the Rockies. A double rip card. Yeah, you heard that right. Double rip. Numbered to 10. Sandy Koufax and Frank Robinson. Very very, very, very nice. Jackie Bradley Jr., Boston Red Sox. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Non-baseball celebrity Jordan Schusterman. Schusterman. He's a blogger that blogs about baseball. And then a Carlos Correa relic for the Astros. Okay, that's the break. That's the recap. Let's get our spreadsheet information up there. So if you jumped in late, if you're watching the recap and you just scrolled uh, to the end so you could see if you hit anything, hang tight. Here's what you need to know. Expecting this stuff to get out the door and on the way to you approximately Wednesday. If I can get it out to you sooner than Wednesday, I will happily do so. Um, the only thing in here that I think didn't hit were maybe the categories for presidential pieces and then the DNA uh, fossil relic category. If you're in, if you own one of those two categories where we did not hit, you are still going to get a package in the mail that will have consolation cards in it uh, for those particular categories. And everything, again, including any consolation that might be due, approximately Wednesday. If I can get it out sooner, I will. Taking a look at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night is an off night. Won't be doing any breaks there. Uh, but we will be back at it on Monday night with Trinity Baseball and Elements Football. On Tuesday night, we're going to break another case of Optic Baseball. On Wednesday, we have got a couple of new releases that come our way on Wednesday. And that is Immaculate Baseball high-end uh, stuff there usually pretty good relics in it we will break a half case of that alongside a 12 box inner case of certified football so some of you ask from time to time what's the difference in an inner case and a master case 
Well, it's really panini, just taking two 12 box cases and putting them in a bigger box and calling them a master case because that way we have to buy twice as much. <laughs> so that's all it is. There's two 12 box cases inside of a bigger box. So we're going to break one of those 12 box cases uh, there on Wednesday when it comes out. Also note Wednesday, we're starting a little bit later, not much later, just 15 minutes at 9.15 on Wednesday night. 9.15 Eastern, 6.15 Pacific. Then on Thursday night, we'll get into a little more Allen and Genter, and it will be the start of a brand new case, and we will uh, bust half of it on Thursday night. So that is it for me until Monday. So, hey, listen, thank you everyone for being here tonight. Always appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend ahead. If I do not see you again on Monday night, I hope that I will see you again sometime soon. And uh, in the meantime, stay cool, stay out of that heat, uh, have a good week, rest of your weekend and week ahead, and we will see you again on Monday. Thanks. Bye now.